what you wanted But you don't even trust yourself We were so, we were so, we were so high up in love But not enough to bring us back from where we fell What's up guys welcome back to my channel today you guys are gonna be coming along with me on a 24 hour shift yes i said 24 hours i know some people are like oh you can't do that well the way i'm doing it is because i'm gonna be going between both of my jobs i'm gonna be going between the hospital and the prison i have a bunch of stuff i want to get done in my house and the quickest way to do that is just knock out a bunch of shifts in one day if you're a nurse you know you just go 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 sometimes people doctors do it all the time people are on call for 24 hours so I'll be fine. I'll get little naps in between. I can sleep in my car. I'm very tiny. I'm about to go to Walmart, get some stuff, and then I'm gonna go to Whole Foods, get a lunch, and then I'm just gonna put it in my fridge and then sleep for hopefully about eight to nine hours. So then I'll be ready for my shifts. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and like this video. If you have any comments, definitely leave a comment down below. Or if you have an individual question, you can definitely DM me on my Instagram, which I'm linking down below. I always enter them. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Let's go. So right now I'm just gonna go get ready. Obviously I look like crap. I slept for about eight hours. Like to verify which med I'm pulling out before I'd even pull it out. And now it's time to clock out and go to the prison. So now, right now, I'm on to my next job. Um, it's gonna take me like an hour and a half to get there. So um, I'm leaving now. My water bottle already filled up. And so hopefully it's a good shift. And yeah. Right, so as you guys see, I'm leaving my hospital job, and I'm going straight to the jail. Um, I have to be there at three, so it's gonna take me a little bit to get there, which is fine. Um, but I was wide awake, so I was like, let me just go into my other job, get some hours in, get some, you know, incentive pay. Um, and like I said, I'm on my way. So here are some of the segregation rooms. They're adding more, which is why it looks like that. So right now, somebody's coming down to medical because they had complaints of ear pain after they had their ear flushed. As you guys know, when you check something, you want to check bilaterally. You don't want to just check one. So you can get a good comparison on, like, if it's baseline for them or not. I'm going to get everything ready in the clinic. Songs about you when I told the truth, through and through. Never name drop, you guilty if you assume it's you. From laying under covers to staying under your skin. I know exactly what it was, fuck what it is. Stay thinking. You always want to test out your equipment and make sure it's working prior to the patient coming there so they're not sitting around waiting while you try to figure out what to do next. I'm fairly small so I want to make sure the equipment reaches and the chair is low enough for me to see. But you had your cake and you eat in the two. Fuck you never thought you'd go back on your word. Broken promises send me back down to earth. Back down on the curb gets time. Heels on accepted. Since he's complaining about ear pain we do have standing orders that we're able to utilize as long as there's no contraindications noted. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this vlog so far. If you're new here, like I said, make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on so you can get notified on all the upcoming fun. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Last time you reached out, I ain't read the message. Leave it a comma to respond when you least expect it. Everything I said, I felt the need to mention. When facts seem offensive, it's hard to ease attention. I'm just thinking out loud and think about how the vibe change quicker than a million miles an hour.
Some people would wait to document. I like documenting as soon as possible because you never know what's going to happen. And if you don't document, it didn't happen. I wonder if there's peace. So now I'm getting ready to do my best. Once in a while, we'll get people that get more than two tablets, but typically our policy is we give two tablets of Tylenol or um, ibuprofen. But this person's actually getting four, so. Like I said earlier, we do have standing orders. However, if the provider feels like somebody needs a higher dose of the medication, then it has to be a provider's order. You can't just give them more tablets because they're complaining about pain. I know that sounds like common sense. However, some nurses be like, well, I take four tablets at home. And I get that. However, I'm not trying to be a stickler, but if something happens to them, then that's your license and your butt on the line. As you guys know, I always like setting up for my patients before they come just so I can have them go, go, go. And yes, I, we call them inmates here. However, I do like giving people dignity. Yes, they committed a crime. However, I am still very respectful to people. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know we have to count all sharps to make sure they're all accounted for. Cause you guys know, this is the concrete jungle and we have to make sure everybody is safe. Sometimes I just wanna disappear. Even though insulin is a high alert drug, we do not have to have another nurse verify our medications. So now you guys can verify it for me. cleaning up and organize a little bit before I go back to my other job. I don't care about the scene, I don't care about the location All that matters not to me, that you wherever I go baby I just need you by my side Yes, my keys are on the counter. However, in my defense, inmates are not allowed back here unless one of us lets them in. Ever since you found me, we the only thing I see Forever and a day is you and me, and they can replicate this you know I have forgot that I put their nasty patches in the back of my pocket and I always do that. I always forget that I put them in the, my back pocket because I don't carry a bag around because I feel like it's more cumbersome and then I randomly stick my hand in my pocket and I'm like Bleh. Oh anywhere, anywhere, just as long as you with me, cause girl I know that you get me, so I'll go anywhere. I had to freshen up a little bit and change my clothes cause you don't want people thinking you're just nasty wearing the same clothes to work every single day. Cause remember, even though it's the same day for me, it's a different shift for them. So they'll just think that I'm just coming to work and whatever I fell asleep in. I don't care about the stereotype. I can never do a mono with a stereotype. I'm talking left, right, link. I'm talking left hand ring. I'm talking this right. I did get to work a little early. I told them I'll be in around nine, which is fine. I'll just clock in and start my shift. Honestly, a lot of way you carry it. It was an easy decision I had to marry it. Honeymoon, I'ma put you on a chariot. And they don't make them like you no more. No pressure. I can see them watching and they try to do better. But you one in a million, you ain't average. Girl, I promise I'ma have you living lavish. Take a trip, girl, we're about to vanish. Cause I'll go anywhere, anywhere. Just as long as you with me. Cause girl, I know that you. So as you guys just seen, I took my little nap. I ordered my boba online. Um, that's what it looks like. 
brown sugar milk tea and then it has like brown sugar boba in it they're so delicious at first i was like hesitant because i'm like the thought of drinking something and chewing at the same time kind of freaked me out but when i tried it i'm like now i hooked on it so so good um so i know you've seen that in my other vlogs before um but yeah so far i'm doing okay i'm not exhausted um so what time is it six o'clock exactly on the dot i actually have 15 more minutes um till my break is over because here we get like an hour break and then two 15 minute breaks so i'm st i still have pretty good time um so yeah i'm not exact i'm not like exhausted i'm doing okay um we're actually pretty slow today so i should have said that and no, i just jinxed it baby you know it you're losing patience with me but baby don't show it Ooh, isn't this what you wanted but you're blowing up my phone cause i didn't come crying to you so come on ask me if it hurts i have two more hours i got this and then i have seven more hours so I have to be at the jail at three, so I don't know if I want to like, yeah. So that's what I don't know. I don't know if I want to like clock out at like 12 and just take a little nappy, but I feel like that's a tease too. Yeah. It's not but I have a blanket in my car, so I'll probably just like go in their parking lot and like sleep because I'm so small. I can just curl up in my back seat for like two hours. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. It's like 11.30 at night. My 24 hour shift is almost done. So it's like 11.30 at night. I have 30 more minutes. So I clock out from here and then heist my next job. And then my 24 hours is almost done. So I'm gonna have a nice paycheck. I got plan. <laughs> Chef. Now it's what time is it? 12.02 a.m. So now I'm just gonna get a little fresh up and then go straight to the jail. And then I'm only doing a princess chef, so I'm doing three three A to seven A, and then I'm done with my 24. Super excited to finally get some sleep. I did this on myself, but that's okay. I'm 24 hours almost done, which is good. I made some good decent money. I made some decent money. Um, when I came in, they said this shift was pretty slow. So in two hours at five, we start doing med pass, diabetics. So it's gonna go up a little faster. And then after that time flies, and then I'll be leaving. Um, as you guys see, like my energy is like wearing down. Normally I'm not this like, bleh. but I have been sleeping in and out in between. Um, so like, as you saw at the hospital, I took my, um, <laughs> Four hours total in sleep. But yeah, I only have four more hours and I can just be knocked out. Um, thing is that it's the same, I'm on the same unit that I had yesterday, so I already know the exact meds. Like, I'm about to do the four ibuprofen that I did yesterday, so it's gonna be pretty simple. Just got back with from medical emergency, didn't have time to like film my get rid of me, but. If you want to see a medical emergency, I'll link this tag right here. This is what we did last time. Last 
Come too far to let you mess with my vision Cause we dream of something more They're not gonna Shout out to my beautiful husband who came and picked me up And now I just get to lay back and relax while he drives And the only way to get super comfortable is if you're ugly comfortable Taking off the eyelashes, the hair, the whole bit Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog Can't wait to see you on my next shift Peace <laughs>